Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. This time, it's another review from Exa Telecom. Exa is a company that I've reviewed like tons of their headphones. They make really good products that are like very competitively priced in my opinion. And they've been going into kind of telecom area more recently. And uh, this is actually a new product. I think this was a Kickstarter or something like that. And uh, yeah. So this is another one of those their kind of teleconferencing, uh, business-oriented headset sort of things. Uh, if you're like in a call center or if you have a lot of web meetings, this is something that you would generally use. And I thought this was interesting because uh, this is the style that you plug into this sort of charging case slash base. And uh, they're like the true wireless style where there are two sides and one has a little swing out microphone. I'm interested to see if that's removable or what, what's going on with that. As well as this case, I'm interested. Is that just a docking station? Is it a battery? I don't know. Anywho, they mark 99.9% uh, .9 ENC. That's for the microphone, obviously. It uses electronic noise canceling. Uh, we will test that. I will say something into the microphone and you guys can... Tell me how it sounds. I don't know. Uh, they say 70 plus hours of working time. That's pretty impressive if so. Model number, by the way, is the S30. And here they call it open ear air conduction. That basically just means that there's nothing that goes into your ear canal. Uh, it's just a speaker then that's like roughly positioned above where your ear hole is. And it just blasts noise into your ear. So this kind of style is really good actually for if you need to hear stuff outside of whatever you're, you're doing. So if um, you want to hold a conversation on the phone and also, you know, hear your surroundings around you, these are perfect for that. So we have a picture here. It says be heard anywhere. Uh, the other side has uh, some facts about it. Up to 30 meters, 99 feet, a wireless conduct uh, connection, con contection. Okay, uh, Bluetooth 5.3, so that's good to see. Uh, IPX5, which means it is uh, water resistant, but not dust resistant, which, I mean, fair enough. Uh, and it says voice pure ENC and true tube base, not true base, tube base technology. So, yeah, uh, it has a lot of tiny text on here. Uh, you can read that if you're interested. Uh, anything that I'm interested in. It's a speaker diameter, 16.2 millimeters, 16 ohms, 125 decibels. That's pretty high for the uh, the sensitivity. Uh, 20 to 20 kilohertz, of course, et cetera, et cetera. Silicone microphone. Huh, that rhymes. Uh, yeah, and 95 milliamp hour per earbud. And okay, the, the charging case or the base, whatever I, I called it, is actually a thousand milliamp hours. So theoretically, that should give like five full charges ish, and have maybe a little bit left over. It says music playback time is 16 hours at 70% volume, 70 plus hours if you count all the recharges in the case. Talking time is less because you're using the microphone, I guess. So nine hours and 48 hours respectively. So yeah, it comes with a bunch of stuff. We'll see that in a second. Uh, their boxes are always like really nicely laid out and yeah, they package things very well and so well in fact that, there we go, kind of difficult to open with one hand. We have booklet and goodies, which just slides out of the top there, uh, just like a warranty card it looks like with the QR code, uh, looks like some quick instructions. Got a nice thick manual of which probably it's like five or six different languages and only like the first couple pages are in English. Uh, it's actually very well like illustrated. Yeah, very well illustrated. Sweet. So, oh, <laughs> actually comes with a carrying case as well. Very nice. Oh. I wish you guys could feel it. This is a really nice carrying case. Holy. I'm going to have to... I totally forgot to ask them what the price is because I think this may or may not be for sale yet. It might be like kind of a pre, pre-release sort of thing because I know they told me that they're still working on their Kickstarter or something or other. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what the price is as of filming this intro. I'll put it down here below once I find out. But yeah, so far, 
really good impressions. It has a metal like carabiner clip that's very circular. That's interesting. I've never seen like a totally round one of these. That's cool. Has a strap for holding that. Has a silicone, like a very nice. I don't know. That's not silicone. It's like some kind of rubber zipper. And the material itself is really, really nice. It's like rubberized. It has this texture. And it has their logo in like orange and gold. It's very nicely made. So, try to open this with one hand. Okay. So, the reveal. Wow. Okay. So, they actually have like a foam molded insert. Wow. They went all out. Very nice like foam molded insert that's like velveteen lined or something. Uh, the zipper is like orange accents to kind of go along with the whole orange and kind of gray slash black theme. We have the head, the headset itself, which you could remove from the case and it just has a separate base little thingy here with a hole for it and a spot perfect for a USB-C, thank God, cable, which is also black and orange themed. <laughs> has its own... Um, little velcro cord there give me one second i'll give you the length of this okay so the cord's only about a foot long but it is like top quality this is like really nice silicone and it just feels really nice <laughs> so i know x said on all their headphones that i've ever gotten they they clearly spend money on the cables they do not cheap out at all they have like really nice cable ties on all of them they're all like really well built so yeah, super happy with that. We have the base station here, which I guess we'll just put it back in the case. Uh, well, give me a sec. There is a power indicator, it looks like on the front there. A rubber base, so it does not slide around. It has a little bit of heft. It's not like super weighty or anything, but yeah, you set it down, it's like not gonna move on its own too easily. There is a USB-C connector in the back. It has a very interesting shape. And, uh, yeah, we have a button, a single button on the front here, which is orange, and it lights up green. It flashed twice, I guess, to tell you how much battery is in the internal battery. That's nice. And we have the headset itself, which they have protective plastic on, like, everything. So this is to, huh, no charging contacts. Yeah, there's no, oh, no. The contacts are in here, it looks like. Huh. So, yeah, they wrapped. So this plastic to prevent it from, like, scuffing while shipping. And then they also wrapped the ends of here on the earlobe kind of parts. Have two metal contacts on either side. And when, when you set down, the magnet attracts it, pulls it down. And there's actually the metal contacts are within that area down here. So it charges each one be a sort of the earlobe part. That's an interesting way of doing it. It says remove the sticker. So obviously before you go to use it, you have to remove this. Okay. So yeah, like I said, metal contacts, super shiny. These are gold plated. <laughs> yeah, they look silver on camera, but they're definitely goldish in real life. Huh. We have the holes for the actual speaker itself. We have a physical clicky button. Yes, no touch sens sensitive crap. And uh, this is all kind of rubberized and it is slightly flexible. This matte part is the actual, uh, well, the slightly glossy part here is all plastic. This is rubber. There's a hole, two holes. It goes all the way through. Interesting. And we have the mic boom, which swivels, not quite, well, yeah, you can't go 360. It goes from about three o'clock position to about like, I don't know, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. But yeah, this also has a silicone, so it's flexible. And there's a button here undoubtedly to mute and unmute the microphone, of which there's more holes on the front there. So you could just swing it out of the way when you just wanna to listen to audio. That's really cool. When I set it in, the light starts blinking to show you it's charging. The other one, likewise, is the same except for it doesn't have the mic, so it just has this grill pattern, the indicator LED, and then their logo. 
but otherwise looks identical. Also has an orange button. I'm really digging the black and slash gray and orange sort of aesthetic thing going on here. It looks really nice. So set this one into charge as well. I could see a red light came on on that earbud and this one now too as well. So it's charging and uh, yeah, this light stopped flashing. Uh, so I'm gonna let these charge. I'm probably gonna actually charge up the case fully as well. Then I'm gonna take it to work and I actually do have a meeting ironically enough tomorrow. So I will use it during our meeting. Uh, we usually just use like Microsoft Teams. So it's gonna be on the computer. I could totally connect this with Bluetooth to my uh, work computer and I will test it out tomorrow as well as just use it to listen to audio and whatnot because even though this is targeted towards like business meeting sort of telecom stuff, there's no reason why you couldn't just use these like a regular pair of earbuds. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so it's been well over a month. Apologies to Exa that this took so long to get out. Uh, I've been using this actually for web meetings like pretty much every other day I have some sort of meeting at work and this has sat on my desk. It's a little bit dusty, but uh, just ignore that. Anywho, uh, the case is really nice. I think that's actually a huge bonus if you are going back and forth from home to the office. I just leave it sitting on my desk just like this. Uh, I've only ever had to charge this once. The battery life is really good on this with the base and everything. And uh, yeah, it's just always, I can grab one or both if I just want one, one ear for audio or um, I can have both if I'm listening to media. Uh, when I'm not within a meeting. Uh, yeah, so uh, in terms of value, I think last I checked, this was like 150 somewhere. It wasn't particularly cheap. Honestly, though, if you are using this for business, uh, this is a tax write-off. <laughs> this is absolutely awesome for what it does. The audio quality, I'll give you guys a quick sample right now. Okay, so this is just a sample of just a normal volume level speaking voice. Uh, there is a little bit of background noise. It's raining outside, so I don't know if you may or may not be able to hear that. But I'm recording using my phone. Uh, it's connected over Bluetooth, obviously. And the audio quality is set as high as it'll go. I think it's like 256 kbps. So hopefully you guys can hear what the audio quality is like on these. So the audio quality is okay. It's good enough for meetings, but I wouldn't hold like long conversations with someone with this. Um, they can, I've never had trouble with someone hearing what I was saying. Like there is some sort of electronic noise cancellation on the microphone so that background noise isn't like too apparent. They can definitely hear what you're saying. But the actual audio quality of this, I wouldn't like record an entire video with this as my mic, for example. Uh, audio quality. Honestly, I was really surprised. Audio quality for these is definitely above average. Uh, the way that it's designed, uh, there are little vents, so the bass on these are actually really good, surprisingly. Uh, this is a, a pretty good like music experience, or if you just wanna watch YouTube videos, the only thing is because of the way that it ports the sound through those little holes, uh, if someone is close near you and you're in a quiet office, they can kinda hear sound bleed. They might not be able to tell exactly what you're listening to unless if the volume's particularly high, but they can definitely hear something and hear that you're listening to something. So if it's in a crowded office, maybe not such a great idea. Uh, it doesn't really matter for like, you know, if you're having a web meeting or something, no one's really gonna care what you're talking to someone else about. Uh, but if you are like listening to music or watching like a YouTube video with like background music, then they can definitely hear that you're listening to something. So if that's an issue, then uh, maybe look for a different pair. But yeah, if you're kind of like, you have your own little cubicle set up and like there's not people directly next to you, then I think it's fine. Uh, it's really comfortable. Uh, I have no issues with these staying on my ears. Uh, MIDI controls, there's a button on the bottom of each one. You can't control the volume, unfortunately, uh, from there. I, 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 Pretty sure they're just for like answering calls. I think they do work for like play, pause, and track skip, but you can't control the volume from the headset itself. So that's meh. Uh, it is nice that there is a button for the mic. You can mute it on the device itself. You don't have to necessarily mute it within your web, your webinar software or whatever. 
Uh, so that's really nice. And when you're done with it, you just swing this out of the way. That works really well. And it's not like it adds like a lot of bulk or anything to it. So oftentimes when I'm wearing these just for audio, like I'll forget that the mic's even there. Uh, the design is actually really nice on this, uh, this dock sort of thing, I guess. You can leave it plugged in the whole time if you want to or not, because honestly, uh, they say eight, 70 plus hours work time. I absolutely believe that. I've charged this a single time within the, the course of like the four plus, four-ish plus weeks that I've used this. And I've definitely like each week I've used this for like maybe, I don't know, like 20 hours-ish plus maybe. Uh, maybe not like consistently, but I've had them in my ears and I forgot to take them off to Put them down to charge i do like that uh you can eat with these on <laughs> that's absolutely not an issue uh so yeah overall i think for a value uh with the case the way they're they're designed they put a lot of thought obviously into the like the functional anesthetic design of these uh they're a little bit pricey but honestly if you spend a lot of time in the office and you need to you know spend a lot of time either on the phone or within uh remote meetings 100 percent. i would i would definitely recommend these uh exa as a company i'm actually very proud to be able to work with them i reviewed several of their their headphones i was surprised that they're getting into the telecom space uh their headphones are definitely they definitely punch above their weight so i was surprised when they sort of pivoted 180 and went into telecom sort of stuff like office uh audio kind of applications uh, but I'm very happy to say that uh, they, their, the quality and the value of their products definitely has not suffered uh, from going into a new space that they may or may not necessarily have the experience in. So uh, huge kudos to Exa, and thank you for sending this in. And I, this is going to live on my desk. I'm absolutely going to use these almost every single day probably uh, for the foreseeable future. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested, I will have links down below. Model number, once again, is the S30. Uh, they have other different models, headsets that are larger, like on-ear and over-ear. I just really like this kind of true wireless bud setup. I can leave these on all day, and they're super comfortable. So it's perfect for my application. Anywho, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.